It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the cards and the silver and black coming up next. Well, there's never a shortage of shows or sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are glued to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Arizona Cardinals and the Las Vegas Raiders. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. one out. The first drive will start at the 25. And here comes Kyler Murray in his fourth NFL season leading this Cardinal offense. Already a two-time Pro Bowler in his time with Arizona. Kyler Murray had his Arizona Cardinals cruising in 2021, leading them to 11 wins, despite sharing a division with both of the NFC title game participants. It was also Arizona's first playoff appearance since 2015. Like his team, Murray's improved each of the last three seasons and would have set career highs across the board had he not missed a couple of starts. They'll fake it to counter. Now Murray. And oh, right away, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Ooh. Murray going to throw. Incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began. Thanks to a great defensive effort. Both sacked on first down, followed by an incompletion. More work than well. They get off the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. And this will be scooped up in the end zone. The defender gets there, and it's a touchdown. Once that ball was loose, the question was, would this be two or would it be six? It's six, the defense able to pounce on. And for the offense, the training didn't really kick in, did it? Once that ball comes loose, you've got to get on it, make sure that you recover it, or make sure you punch it out of the end zone. Anything but give it to the defense to score a touchdown. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So not only the combo, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll be looking to start fresh. Just a moment ago, they were backed up, coughed up the football, and then saw it go the other way for six points. I just wonder, partner, sometimes they put such an emphasis on things. And you know in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football, don't cough it up. And sometimes that's the last thing you hear, and that's exactly what Oh, Connor loses it. And the Raiders have recovered. This defense, Charles, very 
opportunistic here early. A second fumble recovery in this first quarter of play. Yeah, you mentioned the right word, opportunistic and aggressive because once they got the first fumble recovery, they were eager to get a second one, and sometimes they just come in bunches. On the flip side, they've got to figure out how to hold the ball because the play calls seem to be okay. They're just not executing. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now here's the first carry for Amir Abdullah. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Well, that is a running back who was not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. Yeah, this could be a sign of what this defense is in for because you know all week long the coaches were preaching to the defense, you've got to be able to wrap up against a back like him or he can make you pay. Technique, technique, technique. Line of scrimmage, the nine. Second and about a yard. And this is caught. Touchdown. Touchdown, Brown. And the Raiders have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Early on, they have all facets of the game working in tandem. Yeah, you get the defensive touchdown early and give you the first score, and then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, we've had that conversation with prior to the game, they always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives us like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. There's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. He's got to clear his mind a little bit right now. One carry, and that carry was a lost fumble. Clear his mind, clear his hands, and, this, and just let this one go. Sometimes it happens. You drop the ball, get a full game ahead of him, hand it to him again, see if they can start to produce. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running. And he loses the football a second time. And the Raiders pick it up. And he's into the end zone. It's a full return from six and a Raider touchdown. Well, Charles, not only did they fumble the football, but they're starting to fumble away their chances here a little bit. We've got a three-score ball game now here in the first half. And the last thing you want to do, partner, is help the other team with what are avoidable turnovers. You want to hang on to the football because you're already playing against a good team. You're just making it easier for them by giving them extra opportunities. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And that makes the score 21 to 10. The scoop of score. Always an exciting play in football. And we witnessed it there. Grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. So out now come the Cardinals. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and ten. Murray now. He'll 
dump this one off to Connor. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Meanwhile, Murray's throw taken in by Green here. Green's first catch of the game. Good for a first down. Murray now to throw. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. On second down, Connor looking for space. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. 21 0, our score after one. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. Here's Murray. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Murray again. This is Connor. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Dancing to his left. Murray fighting, lost the football. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Holding defense. So now, I think even our referee is confused. The defense accepted the holding penalty, but they just got the ball on the fumble recovery, so that will be negated. That's a tough one to comprehend. Murray's throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. And some secondary help here for the defense of the nickel on third and long. Now Murray. He'll get the... And he lost the football. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. And this will stay a three-touchdown game. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. Well, here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. What now? Throwing on first down is Carr. Open man, that's Renfro. Touchdown! Hunter Renfro, 28 yards. And the Raiders are able to widen their lead here in this first half. It's not too often that you say, hey, this one's going to be over by halftime, and CD, I know our bosses probably don't want us to say that because they don't want people clicking away, but this one might be over by halftime. And since you already put your job on the line by actually saying it, I will come second and go with you because you're my partner. We don't mean to do it, but this game has been exactly as you've described. I see no hope for them going forward. Carlson on for the PAT. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. 
The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. The football going back over to Arizona now. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. There actually is something to the psychology of the game at times, isn't there? How much better would they feel running into the locker room, as you noted, with something on the board in a positive fashion? You're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get through and now an opening. Touchdown, Cardinals. Marquise Brown, 75 yards. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, give that water break and get on out there and play. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. The second down run for Adula. And a pretty good run, all things considered. Probably would have liked that in the first quarter instead of right now as the clock continues to run. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. The final shot here before half for Carr. Looking deep for Adams. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Arizona. And they didn't get a whole lot accomplished through the air in those first two quarters of play. They'll need to up their game if they want to rally all the way back. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. Taking it about the one. The lane opens here. He's past the 30, and he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. Now comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start in quarter number three. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, speed is definitely a calling card if you play cornerback in this league, and he does a terrific job there of hustling in quickly to make the play. And as a running back, you've got to be saying, where did he come from? He covered a lot of ground in a short amount of time, and he was able to stop his man before he got back to the line of scrimmage. They'll run again. This time it's Abdullah. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. 
a nice job there as he rumbles for nine, and it'll be back to a third and three. Brings up third and three. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. First down, Murray. Throw left side complete. That's Connor. So he'll be stopped here for no gain, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and ten. From the gun, Murray. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble to get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post-game. Carlson down to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blow out, let's just say it's been unusual. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing on first down is Murray. And the reception made. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Raiders pick it up. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down, down this big in the fourth yeah, quarter. an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second down, Jacobs once more. 
It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he'll only get a couple here, and that'll bring up fourth down, and they'll have time to talk things over as we have reached the two-minute warning. Give him two yards on that play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. From the 29, Murray finding Ertz again. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing now is Murray. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. To throw again on second down. Murray towards the end zone for Brown. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Prater for the extra point, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's Hollywood, Marquise Brown, who finishes it off with the touchdown. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Taken at the goal line. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Second down, Jacobs once more. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. So this one a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And it was a game where they were off and running in the first quarter, Charles, and never looked back. You know, partner, after a while, we always say the same thing, don't we? They set the tone early, right? They started fast. So I asked a few of my horse racing friends, do you have a term for me that we can use to cover that? And they said, yeah. When a horse breaks out like that, you say he caught a flyer out of the gate. And that's exactly what this team did today. I mean, they jumped out there, jumped on them, and were never headed. <laughs> 